Hey people, it's me again. So anyways, um, one of the subreddits that I frequent on, you know, with all these different, uh, stories from, like, entitled parents, and then there's even, like, insane parents, but then there's one that's called Raised by Narcissists, and those are, like, your classic narcissistic kind of, um, parents, you know, where they're... Whether they're kind of controlling in one aspect, or they're abusive in every sense of the word, abusive, you know, or others where they could be just completely neglectful to the utmost degree of being neglectful, you know, as far as that goes. So, considering of that, you know, um, although... My parents were never really that way, you know, but however, like, my, my grandfather on my mom's side might have been somewhat abusive, I think, verbally, but I'm not all that certain, you know, but I think in, in some regard, even my great-grandfather on my mom's side of the family, like she, my my mom's mom's stepdad might have been that sort of way because he played favorites or something like that. But plus, it's a bit of a long story, you know. But anyways, the. The meat and potatoes of this uh, video here is that I asked this sort of question on the Ask Reddit subreddit, but I don't know if anybody has ever really asked that sort of question there on subreddit because about the fact that anybody who has abusive parents of that sort and what was it like when they finally died and the whole gambit of emotions and all that sort of stuff, you know, and that's kind of really what I wanted to know as far as the whole story there, you know, as far as that goes. I mean, even though now, it's like it's been about like a little bit more than a year since my dad had passed away and my, my relationship with my dad was a bit strained at some point because he, he had a hard time connecting with me and that was just due to me being an Aspie kid and all that and so a lot of my perception of dad was all jarbled up at, at least at that degree there you know I think it wasn't until like my Maybe around my junior year, or sophomore year, or right around the time when I was in high school was when my relationship with my dad started to improve a lot better because he realized that, that I needed him to uh, guide me into adulthood and all this sort of stuff as far as that goes. Yeah. I mean, that is just one of the things, you know. But considering as far as all the other stuff, you know, I had talked about it multiple times on here, and I don't really want to, want to like at least talk about any more than that. But, but as far as um, my post, I'm probably gonna gonna link it in the description as far as that goes for anybody. As far as my subscribers and all that, if they want to share their stories, if they had any, like, abusive parents and and whatnot, as far as that goes, you know. And then, what was it like, as far as, now that they have passed away and all this sort of stuff, if, if any of them had regrets or they felt relieved that they're gone and you know even though I hate having to say that sort of thing you know but honestly you know that is like the case there yeah but 
But when you have, like, parents who don't really parent you in, in, the, in the nurturing, caring way, it, it, it fucks you over in that you spend, like, an entire lifetime to try to fix things like that, you know. And then considering that, I mean, I, I know some people, when I was in school, that had, like, parents that were bad. In some ways, you know, one of one of my friends from high school, you know, he he was also on the spectrum, like myself there, and that his parents divorced when he was young, and his dad was controlling to the utmost degree, and that one that one uh, classmate of mine doesn't want anything to do with this guy this uh this guy and rather see him dead than have any kind of interaction with him yeah that was like how bad of a parent you know this one uh classmate of mine had you know but considering all that you know as far as all the other stuff, you know, I mean, there were even other online friends that also had bad parents like that because, you know, they just didn't accept them for who they are, you know, whether it's just, you know, being gay or being an Aspie or trans, lesbian or whatnot. You know, that's another kind of thing in a different caliber at that point, you know. So, anyways, I hate him to make that long and all that sort of stuff here, you know, but, but considering all of that, that's just one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this sort of thing here. So, anyways, talk to you guys later.